Welcome to my channel. In this video, we will discuss what is cholesteatoma and theories about its genesis. So let's discuss. Cholesteatoma is an abnormal, non-cancerous skin growth that develops in the middle section of the ear behind the eardrum. Normally, the uh, middle ear does not contain the squamous keratinized epithelium but in case of in case of cholesteatoma this epithelium develops in the middle ear it may be a birth defect but it's most commonly caused by repeated middle ear infections in case of chronic suppurative otitis media a cholesteatoma often develops as a cyst sac that sheds layers of old skin components the components of cholesteatoma are keratinized stratified squamous epithelium inside an air filled area of the temporal bone. It is composed of multi layered squamous epithelium that forms the matrix and it is surrounded, surrounded by a mesenchymatous granulation tissue that is known as perimatrix. So it consists of matrix that is composed of multi-layered squamous epithelium and perimetrics that consists of mesenchymatous granulation tissue. Here are some theories that tell us about generation of cholesteatoma. The formula to understand uh, such th these theories are rest in warehouse. From rest we know that there are some congenital cell rests that are responsible for the formation of cholesteatoma. The, this theory suggests about the formation of congenital cholesteatoma. Then the next theory from W is Wittmax theory that tells us about the formation of the retraction pockets and Therefore, from these retraction pockets, cholesteatoma develops. This is, no, uh, this is the res, uh, cause for acquired primary cholesteatoma. Then the next theory is Reddy's theory. Then the ne other theory is Haberman's theory. And the fourth theory is Sad's metaplasia. In this case, the uh, skin shows metaplasia in the uh, middle ear and therefore due to this metaplasia cholesteatoma develops. In case of Wittmax theory I have told you invagination pockets are formed of the tympanic membrane and therefore cholesteatoma develops. In case of Haberman there is marginal perforation. There is marginal perforation in the tympanic membrane and migration of epithelial cells occurs through this perforation. Migration of epithelial cells occurs through this perforation into the middle ear. So these two theories are very important. Wittmax theory in which invagination of the tympanic membrane occurs and cholesteatoma formation occurs and Haberman theory in which there is marginal perforation and migration of the epithelial cells occurs through the perforation. And other theories are congenital cell rest theory, uh, Reddy's theory and Sad's theory. So, to understand, uh, to remember these theories, you should remember this mnemonic, rest in warehouse. Rest in warehouse. Now, what complications can occur? The complications most often occur due to the erosion of the bone, due to the release of certain enzymes such as elastases, etc. by the cholesteatoma. These are these complications are one chronic infection of the ear swelling of the inner ear paralysis of the facial muscles due to facial nerve damage because facial nerve has its course through the middle ear meningitis can occur when the infection spreads to the meninges and it occurs because of erosion of the bone and then brain abscesses or collection of pus in the brain can also 
occur. This is all about cholesteatoma, its formation and complications.